Okay. So let's move on to class. So last class uh, we had discussed, right? Uh, so last class we discussed. So what is Docker volume? And uh, so there is uh, mostly volume is nothing but you know, right? Uh, so to persist your data uh, so permanently to mount your uh, so data. So like backup. So not fully backup. So whichever configuration files I want to maintain even container was deleted. So how to maintain that some of con con uh, you know right uh, configuration files and all. So that case uh, mostly we go for uh, volumes and all. <laughs> so there is volumes default path variable lib docker volume under uh, so underscore data. So that is the default volume and if we create any volume uh, so we can uh, that is the default path. Suppose if you want to create any volume docker volume create volume name. And uh, so once that is done uh, next uh, how to create that volume to container. So how to create uh, how to assign that volume to container. I hope yesterday already we seen right. So hyphen V. So mostly we are using which one hyphen V. So if you want to check uh, volumes. Uh, so docker docker uh, so docker volumes ls. Uh, if you want to create uh, so docker volume docker volume volume or volumes. Uh, here I am confused. Okay. Let me come to here. So already here, right? Uh, where is that? Let me come to here. First, let me come to my instance. Uh, now I can easily get it right. So already this is come to instance. Click on that instance. Where is this? Uh, this is running instance. And uh, so go to here. Click on connect. Bash. Uh, open, uh, get bash, right? Get bash, okay. Control plus plus, okay. Now uh, sudo iPhone, uh, I just I switch to root user and Docker. Volume VOLUME Docker volume LS. So volumes not here volumes. Okay. Sorry, spade type error, right? Docker VOLUME Docker volumes LS. Now here somewhere S is there, somewhere not S. That is the confusion. Docker volume S only. So Docker volume S. So Docker volume so S. Okay, so if you want to check it, where is this? It is unable to see. What is showing? I can't see somewhere. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now Docker. So if you want to check all volume, so Docker V O L V O volume V O L U M E, not volumes L S. And uh, so if you want to create any volume, so Docker. So Docker Docker create Docker volume create Docker volume create well, here I am giving also here I am giving also test VOL I given a test value now see here so these are the already last class we seen right so Docker volume volume create and volume name and volume name we can give any name so this is same only how to attach this volume to container same docker run iphone it and we are using iphone iphone if you want to this is optional only guys container c name container name and uh, so iphone v and uh, next we need to give a volume name so this is the volume this is the volume name volume name colon and slash uh, container path c path this is a container path and image name image name this is the this is the syntax so this is the syntax here guys anyone any doubt here so this is the docker run iphone it and uh, so iphone iphone name container name iphone v iphone v means nothing v means volume and what is your volume name and uh, so container path and image name okay so this is the i know right how to attach this container and all now so and yesterday we created right uh, bound mount bound uh, bind what is this uh, 
so now one more volume is the right what is that volume name wind mount right so docker volumes so if you go here this is the this is the bind mount bind mount means now it is working up to your software is up to your docker package is available in our host machine so unfortunately my docker software my docker package was removed or my docker package was deleted so now your data is also lost why because i am maintaining my volume path under the docker installation path even my package uninstalled i want to my maintain my files uh, persisting permanently and that case we go for a uh, bind mount that case we go for bind mount so this is simple only yesterday we missed a uh, one path and all so by default uh, so now see here so docker ps uh, let me remove docker rm hyphen f dollar remove all containers docker ps hyphen aq now remove images so docker now docker now docker rmi and so dollar so docker so docker images iphone q i deleted all images okay i don't have anything that is space problem right now let me create a first so docker docker volm volume ls so these are the volumes now i want to create how to create bind bind mount volume so even container deleted or the docker package also removed i want to maintain so now how to create so now see here so now i mean uh, so what is the my current uh, path slash root slash root so slash root so if you want to create uh, any bind mount we can give here or by default that bound mount goes to root only slash it will go to slash now i mean root directory guys so by default now see here docker docker run iphone t iphone uh, docker run iphone it so docker run iphone it and i am using uh, iphone v volume and now i am giving uh, so host path that is the slash now i am giving a uh, root root slash yesterday i missed root that is the reason uh, that is not updated clearly root slash you can give any name for example backup so data underscore backup i given some uh, direct name colon slash container path c underscore back whatever name you can give backup and uh, container what is the image name ubuntu now see here o ubuntu ubuntu that's it now see here so now it is creating container now creating container so now see here ls now see here so this is our container path right this is our container volume path so cd space c underscore c underscore backup c underscore backup ls i don't have anything let me create one file so abc.txt or whatever you want mkdr okay so devops ls i given directories ls now come outside this directory control pq okay now so here where is your volume path so where is your volume so see here data this is your uh, host bind mount path right this is your uh, host path okay now go to here now you can see automatically it is updated so cd space uh, so data backup now check it here now automatically that files and all available suppose if you are not mentioning here root by default this all are go to that uh, slash directory now see here now i am not giving this one now i am not if you are not passing root if i am not passing root by default uh, this name goes to this name now i am giving c here i am giving also uh, host path or host 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 i given a host path this is my directory name where it will create under the slash directory only so now see here i am creating one more container now so see here ls and cd space c this is same only we can't confuse here ls i don't have anything and uh, so to is touch space file okay here i am creating a few files 1.4.txt okay now control p 
where if you are not mentioning root so this directory was created under the slash under the under the uh, so root uh, that is nothing but a slash directory only now i am in a uh, root directory see or observe here now you are in root dot backup now that is not available go to cd dot dot and uh, cd dot dot under here we can see that name where is that name post path yesterday we missed this one that is the reason i am using so now i am in uh, which directory slash okay so this is the slash by default it is creating a slash only if you want to under the root uh, we need to mention so this is the root uh, we need to mention slash root and which directory you want to save the data now check it here cd space host path cd space uh, host path okay under we can find these files see here now clear guys <clears throat> so anyone any doubt so specifically where you want to create that uh, host uh, path where you want to create that host path whether you are root or slash or under slash directory or wherever you want we need to give absolute path so that is full path okay we need to give uh, so full path clear guys anyone any doubt here yes ravani so wherever you want to create we need to mention that full path yes sir okay so that's it very simple only but yesterday we missed root always i am checking root only but actually that is uh, that was created in uh, slash directory so this is very simple only now today we are going to see today we will uh, discuss uh, what is network what is network in intro also so many people asked uh, what is docker network and why you go for uh, docker network so this is also very very important now first uh, let me try so first uh, try we will see what is docker network and what is advantage and all okay so docker network is nothing but uh, now i created many containers right how these containers are communicating each other so how these are see here so this is the one of the reason docker containers and services are uh, so powerful that you can connect them together now i have two containers sir. now see here Docker PS iPhone ye. So now I have sudo iPhone i root user and clear the screen and Docker PS iPhone ye. Now see here I have two containers. How these container communicating each other? So by default Docker itself it is giving uh, some network. By default Docker providing uh, some networks. So these are the default networks, guys. So default if you install docker package if you install docker software by default docker software it is providing uh, three types of network so bridge network and host network and none network okay none network so these are the three types of networks available in docker these are the default networks so these all are the so default uh, so network so these are the so default uh, network okay so these are the default network now I have two uh, containers. Uh, how to check a uh, full information about your container? What is the command? Anyone? I want to know more about my container information. What is the command? Docker. Yes, uh, inspect uh, ins docker inspect and container ID. So if you give this container ID, now we can know about more on this container. Now see here. So what is the container ID and whether, whether it is running or not. See here, this is stopped container, it is running container and this has the image information and this is the overlay network and driver. If you use a Docker Swarm and all, we know that one, first leave it. And if you go down, if you go down, so here we can see there is a, so there is a one, uh, so network settings and all is there. So under the network settings, uh, we can see that name, okay so now if you come here see here network settings if you come to here network settings so what is the default network name bridge network what is the default network name so did i assign any network as of now no right so by default docker itself it is assigning one network that network is nothing but bridge network and every container have one ip address see here so every container see here one ip address so with the help of this ip address these containers communicating to each other now got it guys that's it if you understand this one that's enough for 
okay so every container if we create any container so each container have one ip address that is in queue ip address who will assign this ip address who assigned this ip address under docker who assigned this ip address under docker only see here gate gateway 172.17.0.1 and what is the ip address of this container 172.17.0.3 and let me go to another container see here this is a 3 right 172.17.0.3 let me go to another container docker ps-a and uh, so docker inspect let's check it out i want to know this ip this and this container so i want to know this container this is a 3 right now this is a 4 now if you observe here this is a 2 first container right this is a 2 and this is the 3 this is the ip address 3 now so let me connect my container now let me connect my container so docker exec so docker exec docker exec iphan it i am container i am connected to my container now slash bin bash so this is see here bin bash now here give host name iphan i if you give host name iphan i so what is the ip of this container two now if you want to connect with another container see here ping space 172 dot 172 dot 17 dot 0 dot what is this another ip another container ip 3 right this is the 2 what is the latest container ip 172 dot 17 dot 0 dot 3 now see here this ping is uh, not installed so that is command is not in available we need to install the that package name so we need to install that package name now coming to here where is that mm -hmm. come here let me open document mm, docker so we need to install that utilities package ping related uh, command and all we need to install so for that already somewhere i noted so this is the command guys see here this is the command so apt get update apt get install ip utilities hyphen ping this is a command actually this is a command now go and install here okay so go and install here so ping is not available actually that command is not installed just i installed now check it here whether now we can able to connect that we can able to check whether that container is communicating by this container ping space one what is this command ping space now see here three now see here replied or not okay how this container communicating if you want to check we can use a ping command this is another container ip address clear anyone any doubt so right now i have two containers guys don't confuse here so this is very simple only don't confuse here so this is one container i created one container this is also one container just assume so this is a container one this is a container one and this is a container two so how these container communicating each other without network how these are connecting right there is one uh, network is there so there is three types of networks so what are those networks by default uh, docker providing three types of networks what is that bridge network host network and none network what is this none network these are the three types now i created two containers i created two containers every container have one ip now you know right every container have one ip 172.17.0. this is a two this container and this is the 172 dot so who will assign this ip did i assign any ip and what is the network name here which network by default assigned here bridge, bridge network. network here also bridge network and if you want to check whether this container communicating with this container so how we can check so this here also bridge network bridg bridge network bridge network okay by default so this is ip now if we create one more container now let me come to here now i'm going to create one more container so what is this uh, same i'm going to create uh, one more container so docker run iphone it 
that is same command only docker run iphone it so docker run iphone it we don't have let create okay so docker run so iphone it docker run iphone it and i'm creating one more container okay iphone it so same i'm taking ubuntu only i hope everyone know right ubuntu okay so docker run iphone it ubuntu now container was created so now come outside now check this what is the ip of this container docker ps siphon a this is the latest container right now docker how to check it inspect docker inspect ip address uh, sorry container id copy this one and paste it now every see here if you observe here so now four is there now already this is the two right so this is the two and this is the three now just now i created one more container it is following one sequential order it is following one this is also one container this is a container three see here container this is a container three and uh, what is the ip of this container 172 dot 17 dot 0 dot this is a four this is a four and what is the network here same bridge network by default uh, so that docker it is providing one network uh, default network is bridge network now see here so this container can communicate with this container every container have one in ip address you know right every machine every host machine have one in ip address so if you want to check that ip so we are using also uh, with the help of ip now that is the reason here i am using see here ping space 172 dot 172 dot 17 dot 0 dot now i'm using 4 now i'm using a uh, 4 so uh, now i'm using a uh, 4 so now see here whether it is communicating or not. see here we are getting reply so we are getting uh, so uh, so we are getting uh, so that is the reply reply means uh, this container 2 so this container 2 it is uh, so uh, it is connected with the sorry my container 4 also every container have in ip address and uh, so with the help of uh, ping so that is the ping by default this is the uh, this is the with uh, busy box by default it is using a uh, ping command with the help of ping uh, we can check so generally if you go anywhere cmd or command prompt wherever you want what is this uh, window or cmd even if you want this is my ip this is my local right this is my laptop ip now I mean my host machine. If you want to check it, we can use it. Now I am using google.com. Now see here I am getting reply. I am getting reply, right? So now I can able to connect with my Google and all. Now you can able to connect with uh, so uh, Google. So my if you use a ping and all, uh, Docker by default, uh, you know, right? Uh, so we can use uh, with the help of One minute. Okay. So now, uh, so this is the so every container have one in queue IP address. With the help of this IP, these containers are communicating uh, for each other. Now let me come to here. Now what is see here? So see here Docker containers and services. Uh, this is the matter under and uh, network drivers uh, see here bridge network so what is the bridge network there is a docker network uh, networking uh, subsystem is uh, pluggable and using drivers and these are the different uh, drivers uh, see the bridge uh, this is a default network drivers uh. so docker uh, this is the default if you are not providing any driver and any network for every container it is docker itself it is assigning one driver what is the driver name bridge driver this is the network name so if you doesn't specify driver this is the type of network see here bridge network are usually used when the your application run on the standalone containers and that is now there is a host network also is there if you want to we can change this network also host host is nothing but your mission right suppose if you want to connect if you want to access your application via your host ip or via with the help of host ip so that case we go for host host is nothing but your system your mission where is your uh, docker is running i want to access with the help of that ip that case we go for this one there is a overlay network this network uh, if you install any docker uh, swarm and all so by default it is installing this network so this is the overlay network we will see later this is also one network now there is a 
non network this is the different kinds of networks guys so mostly none so for this container disable my networking i don't want to give access to any others so that case mostly we go for none network now we'll see one by one how it will work so now orally these are the three types of networks what are this what are the drivers bridge network host network none network so if we install any other so we can see that one also now how can check those networks and all now see here so now see here these are the networks now how to check it so docker network docker network docker network ls so ls is nothing but so by default it is providing network now so already i created this network but these are the default see here bridge network this is a network id and driver name is same bridge only and this is also host and this is the id inq id only and this is the host driver name is host and this is the none network that is nothing but null now we know how to create a container sandal now we know how to create container sandal now i have already three containers docker ps a and every container have inq ip address every container have inq ip address and now can able to access it right now let me create one uh, stamcat related container how can uh, how can it work now so already docker um, ls i don't know now already we have docker file set so this is my docker file already last class we seen right uh, uh, sample application also i deployed cat space so docker file underscore uh, copy copy now this is uh, so here uh, this is my tomcat image and this is a maintainer and i am copying a sample var so for testing purpose already i downloaded right we downloaded sample.var from website and i am i am copy to so deploy to user local tomcat web apps directory now let me create also uh, let me create also uh, this image so docker images i don't have any images only ubuntu is there let me create a uh, image first how to create image docker build iphone t docker build iphone t and uh, so image name and here i am using a uh, tomcat image tomcat colon and tag name one and current directory and what is default if you have your file default name is docker file so no need to mention file name now i have different file name right what is my file name my docker file name is docker file underscore copy so if you want to pass this specific different already initial i told right what is the default docker file name docker file only if you want to we can change it now this is my docker file name now how to pass this file name there is a one argument iphan f iphan f and what is the file name docker so enter also one or two guys they asked so suppose i have docker file i have my different docker file and how to pass that docker file okay if you give like this it won't work if you give like this by default it is picking this file only with this file it is picking only this file i don't want this file now i want to pass this is my own file this is my docker underscore copy is my docker file name okay so that case if an f and a docker underscore copy okay this is the syntax so if you want to pass your own docker file name so that case iphan f and your docker file name and the remaining story same only iphan t tag name image name and tag name and the current working directory where is your this docker file this docker file available my current working directory only see here same path only now see here i created my own image so now i created my own image so i created my own image i created my own image so now how to create containers now see here so docker images docker images now this is my own image tomcat1 this is right now let me create container docker run docker run iphone d you know right uh, so by default i am giving uh, so uh, already i hope everyone know so i am giving my host port number and my tomcat port number and my image name tomcat colon what is the tag number one i given one okay now tomcat container created now check it docker ps iphone a 
so how to access this uh, how to access this uh, container this is a tomcat right so go to your instance ip go to your instance ip public ip go to here copy this public ip so where is this uh, north virginia this is the public ip you know right copy public ip and what is your host port number colon i given which one 8080 anyone any doubt here guys so what is the port number here host port number which one 8080. 8080 if you want to we can change same with the help of 8080 only 8080. i can able to access so 8080 now check it container is running okay now how to access your application context path so i deployed a sample dot warp file right now we can use a sample now see here now you can see your application is working fine and uh, so this this container what is the network i want to know check it what is the network Docker inspector. What is the container ID? What is the container ID? Now see here. Go to here. What is the network name? What is the default network? Which network assigned? Bridge network. So bridge network. Bridge network. Anyone any doubt guys here? So by default, if you are not mentioning any your own network, in that case you go for bridge network. By default, Docker itself it is assigning bridge network only. Now, how to create your own network? I don't want to assign. I don't want to give this network. Okay. And I want to create my own network and I want to assign that network to my container. So that is the story. Now, how to create own network? Go to here. Now, as of now, we have some networks, right? How to check it? Simple command Docker network ls. Okay. Now these are the networks. Now I want to create one own network. Okay. So that is nothing but custom network. Okay. Custom. Custom is nothing but uh, we are going to create your own network. This is the command guys. Docker network create and give any name. So here I am going to give. Uh, so for example, already DevOps is there, right? I am going to give. Uh, so DevOps test. DevOps underscore test. So this is my this is my custom network. This is my 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 network name. So already the bridge network, host network, non network. These are the default. So this is already custom network. Now I am going to create one more network. Now see here. Now created custom network was created. How to check it? Docker network ls. That's it. Now see here. So this is the network. Now I want to assign this network to my container. So now as of now we have many containers now we know right ps a all containers which network is there bridge network I don't want to assign bridge network I want to assign my custom network so how to assign so this is a command so docker docker run okay iphone it now iphone iphone network so what is your network name devops underscore test underscore dev First, let me check it. Docker network ls. Okay. Now let me create one. Docker run iphone it iphone iphone network and your network name. So what is my network name? DevOps underscore test. Copy this one and paste it. Okay. And remaining story same only. What is the image name? So which image you want? I want a whatever you want. Tomcat. Uh, what is my image name? Tomcat colon one. Correct? Tomcat colon one. But this is normal, right? This is the uh, uh, server, right? Uh, so, I pan D, or I am giving also I pan P, and I am giving also same uh, 89090. Already 8080 running, and uh, container port number, that's it. Now, check it this up to this command already you know extra added iphone iphone network and your network name for this container i am going to attach my own network now container c created now docker ps iphone a now check so this is my latest container right now check it which network it is assigned docker inspector and network container id 
copy this and paste it now if you go down see here earlier we can see bridge network now what is the network here my network what is my network name see here my network see here this is my network and it is assigning one ip also default it is assigning one ip but earlier it is showing 172.17 series now it is coming 172.19 series my custom network now clear guys or if you want to we can change this entire ip also sir i don't want to continue with this ip i want to my i want to assign my own custom ip so that case also possible if you want to we can customize also now i hope you got it right now what is this network what is the network name what is which network i assigned so this is devops underscore test i hope everyone know right clear now let me try whether this container i can able to access or not so coming to here and uh, so what is this host port 9090 9090 now we can able to access your application now so what is scenario is uh, so for maintenance purpose i don't want to give access to so team or employees i want to stop some particular time period so during this uh, date and time uh, during this uh, this is this is the maintenance purpose uh, so particular day particular time i want to so i don't want to give access to team members or customers okay so how to this uh, now i'm going to update so how to update a network so this is the day now i given network name devops underscore test network now so if you want to change network first we need to discount disconnect the existing network this is the steps first you need to disconnect the network docker don't save so copy if you want to change the network mm, this is the, so as of now i given this see docker docker run docker run iphone iphone d and i given iphone p and uh, so 9090 and uh, so what is this 8080 and i given iphone iphone network i given so devops underscore test this is my custom network and uh, so tomcat this is my image name and this is my tag so now container was created and for this container what is the network so this is the devops underscore network no 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 now everything working fine i don't have any issue now i want to maintenance purpose for maintaining this application so particular time period i want to disable this application i want to i don't want to give access to others team members or customers it is depends on your requirement okay i don't want to access browser okay so how to this uh, if you want to change this network first you need to stop this existing network so docker network uh, disconnect 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 and so dev apps dev apps underscore test and you are also container id so here this is container id container container id that's it now i want to disconnect this network so how to disconnect let me the same command see here so now clear the screen now docker ps a now this is my container lastly i created right this is my container for this container which network i assigned dev apps underscore test now disconnect it docker this is a command guys docker network docker network i uh, disconnect disconnect next what is this uh, what is this dev apps underscore test for which container this is my container copy this now it is disconnected now we have doubt so already this is the dev apps underscore test network attached right now i disconnected if we disconnect this custom network which network it is assigning again now anyone any guess it so actually this is the network i attached this container now i disconnect this container now what is the network it is assigned anyone docker inspect and container id if you detach any network so by default docker itself it is assigning a default network which network again it is assigned which network bridge network 
I hope you got it right. Anyone any doubt here? So earlier, so here my uh, custom network I attached, correct? So DevOps underscore test. Now I disconnected. I disconnected that network. So but container need one network, right? By default Docker it is assigning default network, bridge network. Now I want to change none network. So how to this? Now this is the command, guys. So if you want to attach a new network, so Docker, Docker network connect and which network? None and container ID. Container ID. I want to for this container. I want to give none network. Now also we can able to access, guys. See here. I can able to access my application. Now I can able to access. App. So now check it. Or else we need to restart. But anyway, it will work. I disconnected. It won't work. So let me restart. So what is the container ready? Uh, let me update none. Now Docker PS hyphen A. Now I change right. So now none not yet updated. Now it is a bridge only. Now it is bridge network only. But uh, so trying to access sample uh, same only sample. Uh, let me restart so anyway it will work but let me restart one time so how to restart the container docker restart docker restart and container id copy this container and just paste it i change the network right so just uh, check it so now check it docker ps a docker ps a now it is running up and running two seconds six seconds now coming to here, just refresh it. What is this port number gone, right? Okay, okay, I change the network, so port number gone. Okay. Which port number we don't know. Let me extend the docker inspect inspect container ID. Okay, check it. Do we have anything here? So here see here IP everything gone. It is removed. It is removed again. We need to assign any one network. So, this is a image name, okay. But IP analytics is gone, that is the reason we are unable to access. Now, let me uh, assign again. Uh, let me check it Docker, Docker, uh, Docker, uh, Docker Connect, Docker Connect, Docker Connect. Again, I am connecting uh, so DevOps, uh, so Docker. Let me let me add a port number. Docker port container ID. Okay, what is this container ID? This is right. So Docker port number will check it. There is one command right. Docker port space Docker. But here no port is there. So let me reassign a bridge network. Docker, 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 Docker. Where is this command? Docker, iPhone, iPhone network, iPhone, iPhone network, and so connect, and so DevOps underscore test okay again i am assigning uh, so same only 
What is your anything missing? Dakar. Dakar network. Dakar connect. Dakar connect. Okay. Again, Docker connect iPhone iPhone network. iPhone iPhone uh, network. Okay. Hmm. What is this? First, let me check container. Is this correct container or not? Clear the screen. Docker PS iPhone A. Now, this is a container ID. Mm -hmm. Docker. Docker What is the command? Docker uh, Docker network connect only Docker network disconnect and inspect for an arm same only Docker Docker network connect and also devops underscore test and a container ID what is the container ID? This is the container ID. Anyway, already disconnected. Again, reconnecting. Let me check it. So now it is done. Now inspect it. Docker inspect. Docker inspect. INS inspect. Okay. Now see here IP already. It is assigned. Now we can able to access your application. So now see here slash sample. Now it is working. Now we want to change the non network. So if you want to change generally, if you want to change none and all, first you need to disconnect. So they connect to this network. None. I need to execute this one. Now I don't want to. This is maintenance. For maintenance purpose, I want to. I don't want to access. Okay, so now simply I am going to update. This is very simple command only. Now see here, Docker, Docker. Uh, so Docker, what is this command? Network, uh, network. First you need to disconnect. Disconnect DevApps, DevApps, DevApps underscore test. This is the first part. And second, Docker network connect. If network you want to connect none now we cannot uh, access your application for some particular time period so now i'm using none that's it now see here now check it docker inspect so now check it docker inspect so now check it docker inspector now what is the network now ins inspector now see here docker inspect the container ID. Now, what is the network assigned here? None. None means we can't access your application. See here. So, some particular time period, this is just assume maintenance. So, for maintenance, this week, uh, Friday, this week, Saturday, I want to update some of packages or I want to install some of packages in particular server application or container. So, that time, if user is accessing, means that is interrupting, right? So, while updation, I don't want to give access to outside so that case uh, mostly we can use the non network so mostly that case we can use the non network i hope now got it right so none means we cannot access none means we cannot access now there is a one more network host network now how to assign host host means with the help of my you know right so this mission what is this mission here this is my mission right this is my instance. This is my instance. I want to give my host IP. By default, I want to give my host IP. So how to give it? Now see here. I am going to simply one network. So now Docker, Docker run, iPhone D. Now I am giving a detached mode. Now simply I am giving iPhone, iPhone. No need to give port mapping and all. No need to give any port. Or so directly. So iPhone, iPhone network and a host just given a host and what is the image name tomcat and what is my tag name one that's it now see here so host means based on my ip i want to access my application i don't want to mapping any port and all 
so with the help of host only host means my mission now see here so container created now see here go to here ip now go to here and uh, simply go to here this is my ip right i don't want to give any host port number simply we can give ip that's it ip and what is the container port number if you give like this it won't work guys and we need to mandate it to pass uh, your container port number so what is my container port number tomcat server default container port number 8080 now see here now i can access and uh, slash your uh, context path sample okay now see here we can enable now here one more so if you assign host network we cannot uh, disconnect we cannot connect other network so once you assign host once you assign host network host only it is possible it, it, it will not possible to change let me try here what is this docker ps docker ps iphone here right so this is now this is my container first check it docker docker inspect right inspect container id so this is my container id just check it so what is the bridge now see here what is the network host now so once you assign host we cannot reassign to any other other mission other host now if you want to check it we can check it here also see here docker uh, network docker uh, we want to disconnect right disconnect reassign okay docker network docker network create docker network create docker network create so driver host and uh, host name for example just i am giving uh, some name have okay. apps to i given now see here so docker network it won't uh, see here data network create option so let me check it docker network host means only one mission it will work host means only one mission it will work now see here mm, where is this this is default host and see here default host is available now i'm trying to devops to so we cannot create so one host mission only one mission one host only we cannot create a multiple host so that is the behavior of this one just uh, so if you assign only one time in that case we go for a host if you want to change a custom network to any none and all first we need to disconnect and again we need to connect that uh, network and if you want to remove this uh, network some command docker network docker network network rm space rm remove what is network you want so devops I want to remove that network. Now see here, Docker LS siphon L. Sorry, Docker network LS. Docker network LS. Now see here. So this uh, DevOps custom network I removed. Suppose I don't want this one. Now see here, Docker network, Docker network, and RM and uh, so DevOps underscore test I given. Now see here, Docker network ls now see here removed so now these are the default network these are the default network and the docker network rm none i am trying to choose just none see here 
error response from none is free defined network we cannot remove now try to host also host now see here host is predefined network we cannot remove so now what do you understand only we can remove custom networks we cannot remove default networks predefined networks we cannot remove now got it guys so anyone any doubt what shivaji what saran clear so these are the so enter also sometimes uh, people are asking now these are the only few few commands only not more than five commands so if you want to check it uh, now see here docker network ls command if you want to create docker network create network name okay so network network uh, name network uh, so name and uh, so if you want to remove Docker RM Docker network network RM and also uh, network name network name if you want to assign Docker network Docker network next what the so Docker network now we need to assign right connect if you want to connect 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 name network name okay network name and image name container id this is the cid container id if you want to disconnect docker network disconnect uh, connect disconnect and disconnect and also same network name network uh, network network name and uh, container id cid cid now so if you want to uh, this is remove and creation and ls and all for example if you want to remove there is a help there just go for help we can see one more command prune also see here docker network if you give a command means uh, we can use a pr prune command remove all unused networks simply if you want to remove all unused network so this is a command see here docker network prune suppose i created many networks custom networks but you didn't use those networks so that is a waste right space waste and all suppose if you want to remove all unused unused networks and all so that case simply we can use the docker network prune command so docker network prune command okay so what is the command so docker network network p r u n e prune so what is this remove all unused see here remove all unused networks okay rm means only one network inspect already you know disconnect you know create you know connect you know now clear guys so this is hardly how many commands only three plus six commands only but mostly we are using also only create and connect or if whenever if you need we can uh, so disconnect and we can reconnect also so clear guys i hope you got it right so anyone any doubt as of now clear sravani